drive is a two mile long road stretching from Coatwater Water to the Magic Roundabout. The dual carriageway stretch from Coat Roundabout to Drake's Way Roundabout is part of the A4259 and is 2.4 miles long. Incidentally, the A4259 runs as a dual carriageway from the Common Head, which is junction 15 of the M4 motorway, but is named Marlborough Road. The remaining stretch, known as the A4312 from Drake's Roundabout to the Magic Roundabout, is a triple-laned carriageway, but only 300 yards long, making it probably one of the shortest such carriageways in the UK. Hello, I'm John, and welcome to John's Box, my YouTube channel, and to the second of 10 parts of a series about Swindon Roads. Uh, a couple of months ago, I kicked off about Swindon's most famous uh, tourist attraction, which of course is the Magic Roundabout. I also promised you that the next part would be about the M4 motorway, but somehow I forgot about that. I didn't check and I made a video about uh, Queen's Drive, or I'm making a video rather. So um, it's all about Queen's Drive. Um, Queen's Drive, wait a minute. Queen's Drive or Queen's Drive with an apostrophe S. The answer to that question will be uh, in the following content. However, you'll see on the main signs it's without the apostrophe S. The question as to whether it should have an apostrophe S is uh, maybe not debatable because in my eyes it ought to because it's somebody's, it's possessive of somebody, so there should be an apostrophe S. But um, you'll discover something weird about that also in the process of the video. Now to show you the map, I'm sure if you're from Swindon or you work in Swindon you will have travelled along. Queen's Drive, it's 2.4 miles long, which is about 5 kilometres, I guess, or is it, um, almost, and it opened in 1953, named after Her Majesty, so it goes from the Magic Roundabout all the way down to Coat Roundabout, or if you're coming into Swindon, from Coat Roundabout to the Magic Roundabout. So in this video, we'll be driving down Queen's Drive from the Magic Roundabout to Coat and then we'll be turning back you'll see um, some of the more interesting landmarks along the way um, believe it or not there are some uh, interesting fun facts well maybe not fun facts but interesting buildings along that side of the, or both sides of the roads um, some of the images I've taken from Google Maps straight from my phone, so the quality will be rather poor. So forgive me for that. Um, but um, you will see um, a quick run along both ways uh, from a car, well, from a bus, by the way. There will also be a little bit of history about Queen's Drive. Put it up again. And some general information as to the future too. So sit back, relax. Everything I'm about to describe is to your left as you drive down to Coat Roundabout. Within seconds of leaving the Magic Roundabout is the first pedestrian crossing. Glancing left, you see part of a cycleway along which used to run a canal and in the distance you will see the old stone canal bridge. Continuing further along this stretch, you will pass Swindon Night Shelter and neighbouring this Swindon Ambulance Station. The stretch culminates with the obscure-looking entrance to, of the Holy Cross Catholic School and adjacent playing fields. Previously in this place stood St. Joseph's Catholic Secondary School, which wasn't such an eyesore, by the way. You have now reached Drake's Roundabout. The remaining part of Queen's Drive is dual carriageway.
The first exit is Bromley Close, leading into the Walcott East housing estate. Further on is the Esso fuel station. Originally, this was Texaco when it opened back in the early 1960s. Next to this is the exit to Somerville Road, and in the corner, the new Walcott Community Shop Complex and the Public Library. Previously, this was a tarmac parking area in front of the former Bulldog Pub and Off Licence. There used to be an underpass in this place from Walcott East to Walcott West, but the pedestrian crossing has replaced that. The underpass here was a no-go at night, and even in the daytime too. This picture of it shows it flooded at least on one occasion. Continuing on, you pass a residential home known as Elizabeth House, named after Her Late Majesty. This was built in the 1960s to accommodate the elderly. Shortly after, you turn left into Frobisher Drive, still in Walcott East. As you drive on, you pass New College Swindon, Queen's Drive Campus. This opened over 20 years ago. Previously, Walcott Secondary School was located here. There were also playing fields in the past used by Walcott Secondary and Richard Jeffries Secondary Schools. Today it's the exit to New College Drive with a newly built housing estate leading all the way up to the exit to Whitbourne Avenue and the Parks Housing Estates. Ahead you will see the St John Paul II Polish Roman Catholic Church which used to be the Queen's Drive Methodist Church. This closed about a decade ago due to dwindling numbers and for a short time acted as a drop-by community centre before being acquired by the Polish community. stretch there is council housing until you reach the exit for Wolseley Avenue. On the corner there's Newland Court, part of a development providing affordable housing. It looks far more attractive than the residential block of flats which previously stood here. Indeed, as you drive along, there are about 150 single-storey affordable houses, either built or under construction. This is a development undertaken by Swindon Borough Council, stretching for a hundred yards The final stretch down to the Coatwater roundabout is uneventful, with houses and the exit to Rushton Road. Nothing else until Coat but houses, a green, the very end, and a Coat pedestrian underpass. Everything described here is also to your left as you drive back up towards the Magic Roundabout. The stretch back to the Magic Roundabout does not provide as much variety as the coat-bound one does. It is certainly much greener. Indeed, there is a long stretch of a narrow green belt up to the Windsor Road exit, leading into the remainder of the Lawn Estate, a residential district comprising mainly of post-war housing. Now for a surprise fun fact. There is in fact a Queen's Drive apostrophe S this time, running parallel to the main Queen's Drive, no apostrophe, but this is an hour road for local residents. The Queen's Drive in an apostrophe stretches for a hundred yards. Continuing, the main road runs over the underpass connecting past south to the Lawn Estate. Shortly after you come to fence playing fields that are part of the Lawn Mara and the Academy of Street Dance Academy both previously part of the Churchfield School Complex of School. The next exit is to Upham Road, leading into Walcott West. This exit is limited to bus traffic only, 
and has been since at least the mid-1970s. Incidentally, a cycle lane runs along the entire stretch. This was added at the turn of the century. There is also a green stretch of grass here, and another Queen's Drive, no apostrophe, running parallel and again an access road for local residents. The apostrophe absurdity comes back again with the final street, when another parallel Queen's Drive of an apostrophe returns. Again, this is an access road for local residents. There is also a dedicated bus lane running along this stretch. You have now arrived at Drake's Roundabout. The final stretch is the aforementioned triple lane carriageway. Facing you on the right is a small residential area of relatively new houses where the old British telecom offices once stood. Continuing the apostrophe S idiocy, this side of Queen's Drive has an apostrophe in Queen's, whereas the other side, bound for Coke, doesn't. By the way, this is all according to Google Maps. Next is the Burger King fast food restaurant, which suffered extreme damage as a result of a fire back in June 2021. The last but one point on this stretch is the A. E. Smith & Son Funeral Directors, which was opened in the 1960s. And just next to the Magic Roundabout is the Post Office and Store Complex, currently up for sale. Heading straight on, you enter Fleming Way, leading to the town centre. Turning left, you head up Drove Road, leading up to Old Town. A right, right turn at the roundabout takes you along Shrivenham Road, and a bare right turn along County Road, up to North Swindon. Since a large part of Swindon's population was to live on the estates lying to the east of Drove Road and the Old Town, a new direct traffic route to the centre of the town and beyond to the industries on its western side became necessary. This was provided in part by the opening in 1953 of Queen's Drive, a dual carriageway running between Marlborough Road and Shrivenham and County Roads, and forming also an eastern bypass for both the old and the new towns. The opening and the name coincided with the late Queen's coronation in 1953. Prior to the building, there were fields in this place belonging to Walcott Farm, whose house building still stands, incidentally. Today, Queen's Drive is served by a number of bus and coach routes leading to the housing district surrounding it. Out-of-town bound coaches use it too to access the M4 motorway and other main trunk routes. Swindon is considered the worst place for traffic and congestion in the UK according to a report by the local evening advertiser newspaper. Needless to say, Queen's Drive is one of Swindon's busiest roads. So that's about it. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, what's your own personal experience of Queen's Drive? Do you travel along it every day or every week? Or maybe you cycle along it? Or walk even. Let me know. Or jog. I forgot there's a lot of joggers uh, along Queen's Drive as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff. Um, and I'll be back again soon with a video about the M4 motorway Swindon section. So that's from Junction 16 to Junction 15 of the M4. That's coming up soon. See you again. And thanks for sticking by. Drive safely. See you next time. Bye bye.